Okay, Knights of the Golden Horseshoe. We just saw off Route 33 coming out of the Shenandoah National Park. Monument to that. Monument to that. Would you tell us one more time what you there told me? group of men who went with Governor Spotswood over the mountains. They were one of the first groups to go. And to commemorate the trip when they got back, Governor Spotswood had little golden horseshoes made and gave to each one, including John Fontaine, wow. my ancestor. John Fontaine, your ancestor. Also, yeah. Maury was an ancestor who, who tracked the currents of the ocean. Right. Matthew Fontaine Maury, Commodore Matthew Fontaine Maury, was the first one to figure out how to figure where the, where the ocean currents were by having people put down their location on the ship where they were on the ship, putting it in a bottle, throwing it overboard, and then the person that picked it up would send it the information to Mr. Maury, who was in the Navy, and he coordinated all of them and tracked the ocean currents, and which was, was very handy, and it cut down the sailing time to Europe and by this, yeah. quite a few days. And this was back in 17... 20 or something? I mean, just wait, before the Civil War. Just before the Civil War. Oh, he did all that then. Oh, right. wow. And then so he, he's very highly thought of in Europe more so than here because he didn't want to fight against the South. So he got out of the Navy. Yeah. So in Richmond on Monumental Avenue or Monument, Monument Avenue. Monument Avenue is a large statutory globe of the world and each city looking handsome telling about all yeah. of his adventures, discoveries. Well, that's quite amazing, and it's a great monument they have for him in Richmond. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, well, he really helped the whole world at that time. Yeah, he helped the whole world chart currents and save time floating boats around. On the trip from the Americas back to Europe, and I guess both directions. Hmm. So your an your ancestry is all charts all the way to the beginning of Charlottesville, and many of the people related to your we're, we're family are. We're called FSB, one of the first families of Virginia. FFVs. Yes. First families, families of Virginia. Virginia. Wow. Well, then who was the the now the same Maury was the one who taught Jefferson when he was a child. Oh, no, this is a different one. Oh, it was this a different. The minister, it's an Episcopal minister in Charlottesville, had a little school in his house, sort of a prep school, and got Thomas Jefferson ready to go to college. Which is a famous Raymond story. Harry. Well, now it's a famous story you now because what Jefferson became, but he was primed by this. Uh, very intellectual man to to get, get ready, ready for, for school. College, yeah. Yeah. And what was and his I name? Think, and I hope uh, Reverend Maury that he gave him some of his good ideas on the separation of church and state, being a Huguenot mm -hmm. and having been persecuted and having to leave France. Yeah. He knew that that was important. So your family was Huguenot mm -hmm. coming over from France, France and right. persecuted through the by because uh, they were Protestant. Were Catholic. Mm -hmm. wow. In fact, one of them may have been burned at the stake. Wow. Was certainly killed. And there's a there was a cup that was supposed to have been the cup that somebody took him some water while they had him burning at the stake. That's when you'd called be really martyrs, thirsty. Yeah. Called the martyr's cup. Martyr's cup. A cousin of mine had in Richmond. Well, the water would be very handy for putting out fire too, but. Probably not I don't enough think there was that. enough of that, but it was nice to have a sip. Yeah, when you're burning, sure. Yeah. Wow, well that's fascinating, and thank you for sharing some of your history here with us. Uh, thank you for asking me. Yeah. And it's now we're... To you, yeah, yeah, well your, your family is quite incredible. And here we are enjoying some of these fall picturesque scenes here in the... coming off of the... Uh, Blue Ridge Parkway, Shenandoah, Shenandoah National, National Park. Park Drive thing. And uh, now, back towards Charlottesville. Yeah, and gorgeous Virginia, bucolic Virginia scenes here in October 22nd, 2011. And uh, 
and it's just a incredible day. Beautiful yeah. afternoon. Wish you could have been with us. Yeah, well, they are with us, aren't you? Are you guys paying attention out there? <laughs> you joined Terrence Lee Martin in my journey, and let's so enjoy. Cabin, let's enjoy more of the journey here. <laughs> Look at what they 